Hi, this is JNM with a new tutorial about Substance Painter 2017 and the new feature Anchor Points. I created this hard surface model with Blender, I don't know what it actually is, but I think it's nice for demonstrating how to add hard surface normals with Substance Painter. I will export this model as FBX, choose File, Export FBX, just the mesh and the selected objects. Alright, that's our model, now let's open Substance Painter 2017. And once it is opened, choose File, New, and then select the FPX we just exported. I will keep the 2K resolution, press OK, and here is our Blender model in Substance Painter. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to bake the textures. I will bake all of them, except the ID map, we don't need this. And after the baking process, I will add materials. For the first layer, I will use a pure iron. And on top of that, I'm going to add a painted steel and perhaps adjust the color just a little bit, like that. The next thing I want to add is some metal edgeware, so I will add a black mask to the painted steel layer, and then a metal edgeware generator. This one. And then I invert the generator. Okay, looks quite nice, but I will reduce the wear level, and then increase the resolution of the baked textures up to 2K. Now that looks decent. Great, now let's add hard surface normals to the layer 1. I rename this to normal details and I will move it downwards in the layer stack the reason for that will be explained in a minute. The normal textures can be found on the tab Hard Surfaces, so I select it. And to use a particular normal texture for stamping it onto the model, we have to drag it into the normal slot of our selected material. But before I do this, I will disable the color, metal, roughness and height information. And now just the normal is left. So I select for example this normal texture and drag it into this slot. Then I rotate and scale up my brush, for which I by the way removed the alpha. And then I click to paint this normal texture to the surface. Okay, this normal texture looks really cool, but as you might have noticed, the metal edgeware information isn't applied to it. Before Substance Painter 2017, the workaround for this has been to rebake and then reapply the normal map, but that's a bit tedious. Now we can use anchor points for this purpose. I right click here onto the normal details layer and add a new anchor point to it. This gives me the possibility to connect the information about the painted in normal texture to the metal edgeware generator. To do this, I select the generator, then micro details, and set the micro details micro normal to on. After that, click the micro normal, and then you can see the anchor point that you want to connect. And this has been the reason to move the layer with the anchor point below the generator, because only then the anchor point is visible for the generator. After selecting the anchor point, the really last step is to set the reference channel of the micro normal to normal. And once you did this, you can see the result. The metal edgeware is applied to the painted in normal information. You can change the intensity of the edgeware for this by increasing or decreasing the micro details curvature at any time. Now we can go ahead and paint in new normals to the normal details layer and the effect of the metal edgeware generator will be applied directly to all of them.
Okay guys, that's it for this new feature of Substance Painter 2017. I really hope you find this tutorial useful. And if you like my channel, then don't forget to subscribe to be notified when new content is available. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support and see you soon on JNM.